Hello and welcome to The Quest on Rajya Sabha TV. I'm Rakhi Bakshi. In this show, as you know that we keep bringing new personalities, leading one. Each week, we have a guest on the show, somebody who shares his or her views and vision. And uh, it's been a very interesting journey. We've completed more than 100 episodes. And what an interesting journey it has been. So today, of course, also, we have another very special guest with us on this show, on The Quest, Rajya Sabha TV. And he's, uh, he's a very prominent filmmaker, also a poet, calls himself a social worker, but also a thinker, intellectual, and has varied roles, actually, uh, that he plays. We would like to discover that in this show. We present to you Mr. Muzaffar Ali. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So we're talking about the journey as such, and the program is called The Quest. Uh, you know, having we will, of course, go into details about your films, but how would you really look at this whole journey where you began from creatively? Well, this is a couplet from Rahim Asum Raza. Who, in fact, today happens to be his birthday also. Okay. So basically, it's uh, one is seeking a balance. You know, one is seeking a balance between humanity and aesthetics. And one finds as you live, as you explore things, uh, there are lots of situations where you find these very striking imbalances. Mm -hmm. And that's where art kicks in. You know? mm -hmm. Art kicks in only when you see an imbalance. When you see an imbalance or an imbalance, you see an imbalance you know, one would say that you represent a combination of creativity and, uh, you know, social consciousness. And in fact, uh, I think for the audience, it's a pleasure that you're watching you here uh, through this interview uh, because you made great films, but we, they, are, they are watching you after some gap in a little long time that they have been waiting for you. Uh, how would you describe this gap? I mean, we, of course, Umraujan is something that we all talk about, but other movies as well. It's not there. Because my film... बनाता नहीं हूँ मैं फिल्म जीता हूँ और फिल्म के माध्यम का मैं मुझे बहुत एहतराम है इट्स अ वेरी काइंड ऑफ प्योर एंड अ नोबल आर्ट फॉर्म सो टू अटेम्प्ट दैट आर्ट फॉर्म यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी क्लियर वेरी लुसिड अबाउट व्हाट यू वांट टू डू एंड व्हाट यू वांट टू से व्हाट व्हाट ह uh, certain things the, wor the world needs to know, the, uh, the milieu needs to be explained. And those things have to be delved into, explored and presented in a context to the audience. You know? mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's a very, I would say, a challenging reflection. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not a media person per se, mm. but uh, I reflect situations. May not, I may not, it may, things may happen today, but it may surface as an art form maybe mm -hmm. after a little while, you know what I mean? I understand. So, uh, so, so let's talk about your, first of all, your forthcoming movie, which is awaited, uh, Janisa. Janisa. Uh, yeah, so uh, where did it all begin and why it is coming at a time right now? Well, Janisar are those pages of history which are absent from our books, from our subconscious, from our, uh, what shall I say, they don't reflect in our, our thinking, you know what I mean? Those are, I mean, we keep bringing out stamps on 1857 and mm. things like that, but that's all, uh, okay, but you need to go into the kind of mindset that was created after 1857. Mm -hmm. Sacrifices, those everybody knows. Uh, just in the area वो हुआ है एक कहीं रस्सा नाम का नहीं मिलता था सारे रस्से जो थे उसपे उससे लाशें टंगी हुई थीं। Why were you compelled to bring it at this time? I mean, that's a period film. I think this is a very important time, and that history has been pushed under the carpet by the British, and that's a it's a period of history where which saw the best of national integration, the best of composite culture. You know, it was really the composite culture that gave the spirit of unity, you know what I mean? And that composite culture was a sort uh, thorn. I mean, it was something which the British didn't want to accept. And, and you, you through this it. movie, you're exploring that, actually. Yeah, I'm trying to explore subtly uh, what 
games were played with us. And you play a very important role, literally. <laughs> I mean, for the first time, and the audience should know that he's also acting in this movie. Well, How has it been like? <laughs> well, it was a tough job. I had to learn a lot of lines. I'm very bad at learning lines. But I got my lines all right, you know, and I got my son to, oh, congratulations to be there. For that, at least. Okay, you better just stand here while I shoot. So he, in fact... Uh, so how did you juggle between, you know, before the lens, behind the lens? No, with my son there was easy, you know, because I knew that nothing could go wrong. And if he said okay, that means it was okay. Now, That's a I very could... interesting <laughs> angle you're talking about. And you chose to have Imran and Purnia as the cast. Uh, why Imran? We, of course, saw him in a popular cinema. But d did you think that he would uh, kind of portray the kind of sensitivity you wanted in that character? Well, yeah, exactly. I was looking for a very gentle kind of a person who has been brought up by the British almost like an Englishman and how he comes. And his role is that of a perceptive person, the way I would expect Farooq Sheikh to mm. react. You know? but, but he has a very gentle demeanor. He's got okay. a nice ways about him. He's very nice looking, very elegant, looks the part. And uh, he came easy. He was keen to do this. Since you mentioned Farooq, I would like mm. to take two lines on him as to how we remember him. And you had a great rapport with him and the kind of role uh, he represented. I mean, we saw him in Gaman. I think, I think you really chose him to play that role so correctly. I think he's played a certain kind of, uh, <clears throat> in a way, self-effacing roles, you know. Sometimes he for she roles, you know. Mm. Uh, s all those kind of subtle things that he's done, which no uh, strong Bollywood person who's looking at a hero image would dare yeah. to do. Yeah. A and Purnia, who we know is a dancer, and she plays the lead heroine. Uh, so any, any particular reason to cast her? Well, I thought she had the intensity. She had the talent. She had the looks. And then the biggest thing is that he... She had the, 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 the facility to dance, and that was very powerful. She could, she could do a lot with her dance. Uh, you know, uh, since, of course, a lot of people know you, uh, of course, a range of movies that you've done, and some of them are very interesting ones. But, of course, Umraujan is something that we all know and remember, and it became a really cult and epic movie. Uh, do you think, at this stage, you felt that there is this problem of comparison, the Umraujan becoming, you know huge kind of uh, uh, fan following, the kind of viewership it had and hit uh, uh, after that, this movie. See, the Did you think you that, felt uh, as a filmmaker that you yeah, had to really live up to But you know, the, the interesting thing is that I took that risk very consciously because, but the point is that I'm adding on something. I'm adding on 20 years of uh, change in society. I'm adding on 20 years of perception hmm. of uh, from 1857 to 1877. So I'm adding on things that have happened in that region, you know. So, and I think people would enjoy the change, you know, in clothing, in style, in people's approach mm -hmm. to life, you know what I mean? So it's like two cross-sections of society in two different times, you know. So that becomes very interesting, and it, it's not a remake of Umrajan, you know. But, but do you think you needed a huge star cast? I mean, um, maybe Rekha, of course, was big, became big even. But do you think in this movie, then, you thought initially that there should be, you know, bigger names? I think the, the hero of this film is, is our sense of freedom. I didn't want freedom to be diluted, because okay. the whole film is on freedom. And how people give their lives for freedom, you know. Janisar. So, Lohan apni jaan nisari hai azadi ke liye. So, that is my theme and that is the thrust of the film. I didn't want it diluted. You know, in, in, in the contemporary scenario, how you expect the movie would be kind of taken uh, by the audience? You have, and we have talked about this whole idea of how cinema is promoted today very aggressively and there are all kinds of elements into it. Uh, with a very, very... Uh, interesting subject, also very sensitive and a very uh, substantive subject like this. Do you think, uh, I mean, how would you look at it in terms of the promotion of the cinema? See, there's a, one is a conventional promotion, which is happening like we are making trailers, we are doing, you know, going, mm. uh, doing kind of meet All and greet kind of, things, of stuff. Yeah. You know, Everybody comes up with media, ideas, yeah. Things like that. But then I think promotion is really going to come from inside, you know. If people like the film, mm. 
there's nothing that can stop the film. See? And I, then I don't know what shape it will take after that, you know, because I don't know. So it's it's a very interesting risk that I've taken. Maybe uh, once it enters into people's subconscious, you know, hmm. or because one talks about this huge competition, who will be releasing when and why? Yeah, that's and a very like very that. big thing. It's the small fish being eaten up by the I big know. fish. <laughs> I so, know. I mean, I'm not even going into this yeah, whole no, big... crore club kind yeah, of yeah, concepts. Yeah, I'm a... not even going into that. But cinema today, uh, of course, has a lot of new creative experiments. But also this. See, whole... I cannot make any claims just now. I'm, it's a very humble tri tribute yeah. to my audience. It's people who expected or kept asking me, Ab, kuch kije, kuch kije. Toh, main, main toh kuch karta hi rehta It's a very ek choti si ek saugat hai, jo agar कबूल हो जाएगी तो बड़ी बात है नहीं होगी तो कोई बात नहीं लेकिन इतना जरूर है कि ये जाया नहीं जाएगी क्योंकि कोई भी इश्क का तोहफा जो है ठुकराया नहीं जाता या सो लेट्स कनेक्ट इट टू योर यू नो अदर रोल्स आई मीन योर अ पोएट एन इंटेलेक्चुअल अ थिंकर अ राइटर एंड समबडी हु रियली टेक्स दैट स्पेस ऑफ सोशियो कल्चरल यू नो जॉनर हाउ वुड यू लुक एट दिस होल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड द जर्नी दैट यू हैव टेकन आई थिंक इट ऑल स्प्रिंग्स फ्रॉम वन thing of being human. Insaniyat jo hai, wohi sabse budi cheez hai. Or insaniyat, agar aap kisi cheez mein nahi paate hai, to mene jah aap se pehle hi kaha ke there's an imbalance between aesthetics and humanity, then there's a serious, it's a very alarming symptom in society, you know. So I'm trying to look for that, you know, and for me, ek insaan hona, ek behtar insaan hona, ek bhoat budi cheez hai. Or yehi cheez hai jo hai, हिंदुस्तान में हमारे पास बहुत से जराए हैं जिससे आप इंसानियत की तरफ जा सकते हैं बहुत से जराए ऐसे भी हैं जो आपको हैवानियत की तरफ भी ले जा सकते हैं देखिए मेक यू इनटू एनिमल्स लेकिन अगर हम हिंदुस्तान में वो चीज़ें ढूंढें जो आदमी को जोड़ती हैं तो वो भी बहुत मिलेगी I, I, I think what you're saying is very relevant hai. right now because we are struggling with this whole uh, idea of being together. और ये मजहब और और ये मजहब कोई ये थोड़ी कहता है कि लड़ो आपस में मतलब तो मोहब्बत की बातें करता है चाहे इस तरफ का हो उस तरफ का हो या किसी तरफ का कोई भी मजहब हो तो दैट्स द बेसिक थिंग दैट जब आप इंसान इंसान से मिलता है तो फिर तो बहुत बड़ी बात होती है बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो राइट नाउ इन फैक्ट देर ऑफ डिबेट्स गोइंग अबाउट आर्टिस्टिक फ्रीडम एक्सप्रेशन what kind of people should be there in movies or what kind of cinema are we making and what is it saying you know uh, we talk about censor we talk about you know many other limitations uh, sometimes there are political angles how would you really look at a creative space uh, really should be going ahead uh, genuinely i think one shouldn't confuse this issue you know one should look at it in a very simplistic way and just follow your heart and i think today the simplest way is to to understand what poetry can do for you mm. and poetry is a very purifying uh, art form it's the mother art you know jis samaj mein shayari paida nahi ho rahi hai aur shayari dilon ko chhu nahi rahi hai to samaj zahir kahin na kahin usme basi hota ja raha hai patthar hota ja raha hai kahin na kahin to taazgi to laata hai ek shayar you know aur shayar ko kabhi bikna nahi chahiye he should not put up his poetry for sale because he's he's a, he's he's next to the divine you know what, what a soul touching and pertinent point you are uh, sharing with us here but on that note i have to take a very small break out here very interesting conversation going on with mr muzaffar ali the filmmaker the person who thinks socially the person who thinks sensitively we are right now talking to us but don't go away this is just a short break and we are still talking to him after this break here Bark militants unleash terror in Jammu and Kashmir. Cloud after cloud on India-Pak relations. A threat to NSA talks later this month. Watch the big picture at 6:30 p.m. on Rajya Sabha Television.
Today we bring you the National Waterways Bill 2015. It has a lot of benefits in our economy because it can reach materials and many things to remote areas. If you build more structures, then there will be huge impacts because of those structures on the river, on the biodiversity, on the people. It's unlike highways, waterways need to have water. That is the prime concern. Watch Law of the Land Saturday at 6.30 p.m. on Rajya Sabha Television. Welcome back to the show. You're watching The Quest here on Raj Sabha TV and we are right now talking to Mr. Uh, Muzaffar Ali. Uh, you talked about poetry, but the movies that you've also uh, made have always had very strong social consciousness, whether it was Agaman, whether it was Gaman, and many other so social short films Anjuman. also that Anjuman that yes. you made. Uh, very interesting topics that you took. In fact, let's look at even Gaman, talked about migration, a very, very relevant issue, I would say, even in today's time. So uh, how really, uh, you know, make you make such kind of cinema and really try to weave in that social space and whether you think today that that kind of space is still available. That's the only space available. There's no other space available except that space. Mm -hmm. And you have to... I mean, I'm a very poetry-driven person. In fact, uh, Gaman also is inspired by questions that poetry asks. You know, poetry makes a fikr. Why is it in the scene of the scene? Is mein har shaks pareshan sa kyun hai? Abhi this asks you, I mean, this poses a huge problem to the nation, to the past that be, and it can also lead to a, a, a revolution also, you know, if it's properly understood in the right sense. Because people are not getting what they want at the grassroots mm. level, and they are going and losing yeah. everything. The uh, search remains. Yeah, the yeah. search remains. So the point is that, but you're losing so much, you know. You're losing your culture, you're losing your language, you're losing your, your democracy. If the, hmm. What is the democracy of the person, the breadwinner, exactly. the responsible person, is not in that, uh, is not attached to that soil? Yeah, true. So what is the soil represented by? You know, talking about soil, I would uh, like to ask you this, that you, uh, you know, focus particularly on a region. I mean, the uh, zameen hai, uh, you come from uh, Lucknow and Awadh is one region that you've really looked at in, in, in depth. Uh, I mean, wouldn't you like to sometimes expand and show us more horizons? There are enough horizons in Nawad and I've done it. I tried to uh, explore Kashmir in a certain kind yeah. of way, which I thought was very, very relevant. You yeah. know? I mean, I think the, the angst of Kashmir today needs a very, very kind of, what shall I say, a healing touch, you know, which I think... Uh, is now very difficult where there's so many shades of thoughts and politics going on. So, so you shot on, you the know? movie, but still it has to see the light of the day. Zuni, I've shot talking. about 40%. Yeah. But now, it, I, my heart doesn't uh, allow me to go and shoot there because I think people are troubled. They don't need they don't need Zuni at the moment. You know, they need something else. You know. Mm -hmm. So, but would you like to really take it up as I, you were saying? When things are better, certainly. I think uh, it's a film that is finally going to create a healing touch there. Mm -hmm. and, and so you need films with, that reflect the turmoil, you know, like the kinds, the kinds that have been coming on Kashmir. Looking at uh, well, the kind of cinema which we see today, and, and you know, let's come back to Janisar that you've uh, are really expecting a lot to come from. Uh, let's talk about this again, this platform that you're using, which is serious. Uh, at a time when uh, all kinds of other experiments are happening. You have some new filmmakers making, taking up subjects, you have some mega budget movies coming in. In that, uh, really, how much are you expecting that this movie could really do well, reach to the audience that you're targeting, maybe? I told you earlier on, I'm just keeping my lips tight and anything can happen, you know. But and in the medium of cinema, anything can happen, you know. It's a very, very, uh, it's a very powerful medium. Mm -hmm. You can think as big as you want, as small as you want. You can go into any scale, you know what I mean? Today, film is all a matter of design, you know. I can design a film which is larger than life, you know. I can, you can do anything with cinema. In Star Wars can be made, anything can be made. But I want to go into that sensitive zone mm -hmm. where I don't play around with too many tricks and take a certain point home, you know, mm -hmm. in a very stylized 
kind of, uh, what shall I say, lyrical, um, s cinematographic design form, you know what I mean? So uh, with, with certain kind of musical nuances, which I know that will Sure, take and the I think people forward. look forward so in your movies a, to, to, a, to, to those creative statement, elements, like yeah. good music and, and songs. And that's and what you're doing in this movie as well? I'm doing that, and I think uh, I, it's come out in a nice way. People have responded very And they'll be watching you as well, and that would be very interesting. But uh, talking about some other subject, and which is nationally also right now, I would say the word used is rocking uh, the news headlines, is uh, we'll, we'll talk about this FTII and, you know, how uh, one person uh, one person uh, has been nominated as the chairman, and there is, you know, the protests happening. I mean, we are talking about here whether uh, how much space artists should take as administering, let's say, an institution. How would you look at this whole uh, scenario? See, I'm mm -hmm. Jiski laati, uski <laughs> Point is that I'd like to do something in UP. I don't want to get involved with anything else. Because I think that's where the problem lies. That's where the solution lies. That's where the huge market lies. Mm. And today, fortunately, we have a yeah. uh, young man who's uh, the, yeah. the chief Giving, minister, yeah. who's keen to play with interesting ideas. So I think I would focus on UP. I'd okay. like to go into creating FTTIs there, creating okay. young minds there who can think out of the box, who can think with their heart, who can follow their heart, who can change the world, you know what I mean? Because if you cannot create... See, I, there's no point in... A big thing is that it's a very difficult thing. It's a new thing. So you're going to the solution. You're going to the freshness. You can make a new thing. But it can be made with the whole freedom. It can be made with the whole freedom. पूरे जिसे कहना चाहिए जोश बलबले के साथ बन सकती है और एक मतलब एक फ्यूचरिस्टिक विजन के साथ बन सकती है तो आई वांट टू फोकस ऑन यूपी यू नो व्हाट आई कैन डू देयर वन ऑफ द मूवीज व्हिच व्हिच हैज डन वेल बट रंगी भाई जन टॉक्ड अबाउट यू नो टू नेशंस हियर योर एक्टर इज आल्सो फ्रॉम अनदर See, Griffith said in 1924, it's the language of moving images that can bring about true brotherhood of man and end all armed conflicts on the face of this earth. So our biggest armed conflict is across the border, you know. We are sitting in our arsenal. We are still doing it. That's the biggest challenge we have, you know. And if we can melt that wall and we can only do it with the film, फन से कर सकते हैं, आर्ट से कर सकते हैं, और वो चीज ऐसी मेल्ट हो सकती है कि उसका कोई नाम निशान न रहे। बजरंगी बजरंगी ने भी अपना काम किया, लेकिन ये काम कई लेवल पे, कई तरीके से, कई अंदाज से हो सकता है। So how would you look at today's cinema as a filmmaker when you watch other movies? I mean, or the whole scene where we have all kinds of cinema coming in, and we have also a global audience. How would you look at the kind of cinema we are watching today? I think there's some sensitive cinema arising, and I think cinema should be rooted to be global, and I think cinema should be global also. And uh, people are reflecting the anguish of the society. Mm. There's a thinking cinema that is coming out today. You think so? I think so. But I mean, the point is that if only uh, the, the big uh, bucks behind the cinema if they want to see a change, they can, big things can happen. Because the director is ready to do anything, you know. Mm. You, just have, you just have to tweak his dreams and he can make anything, you know. He should have the liberty to say, okay. But the, the person who's got the money, who's the funder, who's the marketing yeah. driving force, yeah. whether it's a, it could be star-driven also, if they have a vision mm. of how the world should uh, change. Hmm. They can do wonders today no, in but India. But my question is very interesting here. I <coughs> ask you whether what would actually drive a good cinema? Is it the creative power of thinking of the filmmaker or people behind it? Or whether the power to think what really would drive people into the cinema? Both. Both. Uh, you have to have both, you know. And today things are changing, you know, because today uh, only through the conventional means that we have to show, only 2-3% of people are being exposed to cinema. The rest are seeing it on your smartphone. They're seeing it through other ways, you know. I mean, they're not going to the cinema. So today, you can do anything. It'll go. I mean, if our film 
एक करोड़ पे जाके ऑडियंस पे रुकती है तो एक छः सात महीने वो थिएटर में ना भी हो तो वो सौ करोड़ तक पहुंच जाएगी तो आपको ये अच्छी लगती है पॉइंट इज दैट टूडे इज टेक्नोलॉजी शुड नॉट बी अटैच टू जस्ट मेकिंग मनी इट शुड बी अटैच टू मेकिंग अ डिफरेंस दैट इज द बिग डिफरेंस बिटवीन विच वे टेक्नोलॉजी इज गोइंग टू मूव यू नो इट हैज टू गो मूव टू द हार्ट इट हैज टू मूव टूवर्ड्स द चेंज इट हैज टू मूव टूवर्ड्स ह्यूमनिज्म इट हैज टू इंस्पायर एस्थेटिक्स यू नो सो ऑल दीज थिंग आर different you know which have been neg- negated for the last uh, de- few decades so, you know so 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 once janisar is on uh, is there anything already cropping up inside you or uh, yeah, millions anything? of things are there i've been for the last 10 8 10 years i've been created a very inter- interesting script bank okay so i can go any which way you know okay and uh, about music i mean you're very in- uh, interested in music yourself and you give lot of importance to kind of music you have in your cinema aur aapne awaaz ki music ke upar bhi kafi kaam kiya ha iski music to humne khud shafqat ali khan ke sath milke ki aur we could achieve something very interesting agar aap iski music sunenge aajkal har aadmi ke paas ek ghanta free hota hai do ghante free hote hain gaadi ke andar ji to you could it's a very interesting experience to hear this music it's a very soothing स्टिमुलेटिंग म्यूजिक एंड इट्स वेरी पोइट्री ड्रिवन और शुरू से मैंने जो म्यूजिक जिस मैंने किए जैसे जयदेव जी के साथ गमन में या खयाम साहब के साथ मरौजान में और वगैरह वगैरह फिर आपदा परवीन के साथ मैंने जो एल्बम किया था रक्स और इसमें भी वो उनका म्यूजिक उनकी आवाज़ है तो म्यूजिक जो है वो मेरे लिए एक एक रूहानी गज़ा है और एक लेकिन वो म्यूज़िक जब तक के अल्फाज के साथ कोई कैफियत नहीं तारी करती है वो मतलब एहसास नहीं जगाती है जी Uh, I think that you know there is so much to talk to you about. Even you talk to a filmmaker who is creatively has so much inside him. I think it takes a lot of space to also get those creative uh, elements out of him. But I think we'll have to really wrap it up here. But before that, I would really like to ask you what has been your quest, Mr. Muzaffar Ali, the road that you want to really tread on. I'd like to see harmony. You know, I'd like to see balance. I'd like to see this whole concept of insaniyat emerge. and through this movie you're trying to say all that also yeah, in some way in a way these are steps you know small steps towards a bigger quest <laughs> thank you so much for coming here on rats but we wish you all the best for jani sir many more creative endeavors thank you. thank you so much for being here and that was mr muzaffar ali we tried to actually touch this creative man through some questions that i could ask but i think many more still remains uh, to be answered maybe next edition we'll be again talking to him but try now right now we end the show here uh, as well and uh, thanks for watching this edition of the question on rajsabha tv thank you for watching once again namaskar and bye bye